Oh, no, she's right here. I just she just walked in the door.
was neutered, um, age 19, we started white she chicken tea. Imagine. Now this this year is before we actually came here to stay. She brought him here on 729. Yeah, he's just a wee little baby. But she was really hoping to be able to keep him, so she brought him in, and that's why too you'll see he had a warmer before he actually mm -hmm. came in here to stay. Uh, but you can see he's gained he's up to three oh nine now. Okay. Do you have a guess on his age? Uh his birthday is six fifth sixteen. Oh so it's they know the they know the birthday. We go by their when their babies like that, we can go by their teeth and their development and their weight. I go by all three of those. Okay. So, yeah. And then he had his his free prevention August nineteenth. Now you're familiar with the free prevention? Yes. Okay, so his next one is August nineteenth. We only recommend Frontline Advantage or Resolution, something that you would be able to buy at the vet office. Yes. And then um, when he came in, and four weeks later, we did his leukemia FIV test and that's IDEX, which is a very good test. And then, now, when he was nine weeks and 12 weeks, he had his two December vaccine. Since he's had two or more, and he's 12 weeks or older, that makes this one good for a whole year. So in September 2018, he needs to go in and get his first And adult. if we just take this to our bed, mm -hmm. they should know what to do. Yep, okay. yep, just send that whole thing. The leukemia uh, vaccine and the board they tell us our vets yeah. usually say after they leave here, don't <coughs> use those again. Okay. This, our, this, the board of tell is something really only done in Red Cube and Shelby so there's a lot of cats. And it gives, I, the beauty about that is it gives real quick protection and I can start that at four weeks. And it gives up a respiratory protection. Um, but you don't, you won't need that in a home situation. The leukemia is one, if you had cats going in and out or he was outside, the things that we don't do, um, we would want you to do that. But because he's totally indoors, you, you don't need cats in and out from outside that try to get in, then there's no source for that leukemia. But this is a vaccine that's highly promised for causing the sarcoma, um, given year after year, and those, they do die from so our vets say once they leave here, you don't have to do that one again. He's had these four warmers, his high rent or this will post in my ones. And this can of care, your, your vet may say, wow, they really overdid that. Mm -hmm. We used to only get three. And then our vet said, if you get six or five, if they would have giardia, that it would also get rid of that. But now we find that sometimes five isn't quite enough. So we do a seven days of it in a year now, just for our vet. Johnson is uh, the one medication that does tapeworms. We don't cover tapeworms. So he's been well worn. And then he's had his ears cleaned several times. They've always been good. Dr. Darcy did his physical when he was neutered, and it was good. And today he's a doctor. And his nails are trimmed and his ears are clean. Okay? And then on. Are you going to keep this one a little Or are you not sure yeah. yet? <laughs> that one's a little harder to get. <laughs> David Morgan. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, he can. I need extra holding measure. He came in with this gigantic, awful scab on that, and it just did not want to heal very, very well. We have him on antibiotics and antibiotic ointment, and he's eating it, so you know, we're not too concerned. Mom, what's behind you? The baby, baby. Oh. Come on over. Oh my gosh. He was okay. on our list. Oh, I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> so David Morgan is dark orange tiger, no white. He was tossed in the car, he landed on his face, the lip was pulled out of the chin. Oh my Someone God. saw this happen and brought him to FFRE. So his birthday is 5.30. So they're only two weeks apart. And date of right was 7.25. And the doctors say he had his back and his cat star nail. He was 206, so gosh, they were even close on that. And he was 8 weeks when he came. And his overall appearance, he had that lip avulsion. And that's Other all good now? Uh, it's perfect. Okay, yeah. good. Who wouldn't even you know, know what to do? You know, we're seeing future problems. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It, it's, it, it would be like if you lacerated this and it came up and you got it so same thing with this. There's, his teeth are fine. Everything is, is super. See, he can even smile. <laughs> and he purrs like a madman. Don't they both are awesome. He is a cute old. Well, I love Louie. Who 
Oh, and he's fast. Don't you think it looks a lot like Probably like, why did they have legs on their back? They're the weird ones.
you have to go. I know, but I can't touch you when you're up there. He just wanted the toys. You were serving as a convenient step ladder. <laughs> mm -hmm. Try to keep at least three paws on it at all times. Yeah. <laughs> or not. <laughs> I put on your uh, monitor the sticky for the yum yum thing, the count. Okay. It's right on your monitor. Okay. All right. All right. I'll have to go over it. Okay. Yeah, I was cold. Fifteen minutes. Yeah, we're for, yeah, maybe. Now who is this one? <laughs> this is Sheila. Okay. Yep. Yeah, she's such a sweetheart. She is. Is for sure. One on the floor right underneath. This is our little Morgan, David Morgan. Remember when he came in, he was so sad looking. And two days after he came, he went right up to the vet's office and had to get his lip repaired. Remember, it was hanging all the way down here. A lot of times, unfortunately, when people toss kitties out of cars, they don't politely, nicely land on their feet. They usually land on their face. And it makes that bottom lip go down and um, yeah they can live like that but it's always a cup there that can um, hold food so we had it fixed he had that button on his little mouth for probably about two or three weeks huh he's just purring up a storm so when he came he was eight eight weeks old and he weighed um two pounds six ounces <laughs> do you want to see that and he's now at four pounds 13 ounces 
As soon as we got that wire and that button off of his lip, man, he just went to town eating and eating. He, this is such a wonderful boy. He is. He's such a good kitty, aren't ya? Hmm? Listen to him. Maybe you can hear him. I don't know if you can hear that, but boy, he's just been a little, little purr box the whole time. So uh, Dr. Darcy had done his repair and neutered him on the same day. So he's ready. He, him's ready to go. Uh, oh, it says, I just want to be having my chin rubbed. <laughs> All right, let's put you in. You got some toys in there and you got your feather. This lady and her hubbies already loves you. He is. He's a stocky boy. This is Horace. And Horace is also extremely sweet and loving. And the reason for that is he was found as a teeny tiny little baby uh, by this lady. She ever so much wanted to keep him, if you remember. And uh, she just wasn't able to. And so she brought him in when he was nine weeks old. Just already spoiled rotten. He's loves. He'll lay like this. Just relax and take a nappy. Yeah, he he did. <laughs> Her husband, yep, yeah, picked him up. <laughs> so he's been here since he's nine weeks old. These guys are really close in age. There's only two weeks difference. And um and Horace is all black other than he has a little little bit of white here. So we've got all their toys and look at his eyes. They're kind of golden eyes. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? You guys are gonna have so much fun. Yeah, they went chopping. Look at this tummy. He says, I figured out how to eat good. Yeah. He loves my desk too. I'm gonna miss him on my desk. Yeah, a teeny tiny little locket. All right, you ready to go in? You got a, we're gonna call him now your brother. You got a brother. And a mommy and a daddy. All right, off he goes. I know. Oh, look at David Morgan's just laying there. Look at them ready. Do you have any questions or worries? No. <coughs> Yeah. Almost ready for a trip. Oh. 
Keep them moving because I'm ready. All right, thank you very much. Thank you so much. And you just let me know if you have any worries. Um, but can you also contact me in a couple days and let me know? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Pictures, I'll put them all oh, together. Not smart, Coco. Not smart, bud. <laughs> That's a big kitty and he'll get you. That big kitty will get you. I used to carry him around in my house. Look at that little chunky belly. Have you seen it? I'm glad that about it not being old enough yet because it really helps with us leaving without it. Yeah, he's not neutered yet. It wasn't that old enough. Hey, you're ready, Becky? You want to go see Daddy? That big kitty is going to swat you. Coco. Actually, is that 3 o'clock? Okay. You tell him to stop. You tell him to stop. Come here. Don't forget your other blankie and your Buster. Oh, yes. Buster. Yeah. Buster. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It made her very happy after such a sad day. I'm very happy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, sorry. You're a good boy. Such a handsome boy. I know. Such a handsome boy. You're a big boy now. Kill it. You're trying to get me low. Oh. Yeah, tomorrow you're going to come? Yep, that sounds good to me. I, Coco, I don't think that's wise. Well, I don't think that's wise. We're only going to have one tent this year up there. So that's all we have to work around. No, 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 not to fight you, but I know exactly where it is. And, and I know exactly where the band's going. Yeah. No, you know, actually, it's better to put the band trailer up first because um, that goes in first yep. and then the tent uh, on the side of it. Yep. Okay, so uh, in the morning? At night, yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> okay, you'll have plenty. We'll just move the fence. Yep. Okay, thank you, Diane. I appreciate you. Hi, right, bye bye. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I will definitely update you. I love having my babies go into bird nests. Hi, Satori. Yeah. Oh, they are going to be spoiled. Hi, Satori. Just so you know, that's what we want. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got a whole new life ahead of me. He needs a little bum care. That's a little bit. Oh, goodness. He did that before I even did anything. Oh. Okay, that's it. Since I don't just like being picked up. <laughs> no, I don't like being picked up. Okay, no, you don't do that. Whoops. No.